Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be walking through another one of my Center City builds. If you're new to my channel, for the past few weeks I've been working on turning Magnolia Promenade into Center City Philadelphia and here is the progress so far. All right, so this is a 20 by 20 lot that has a hookah bar, karaoke lounge, a small local bar, and a tattoo parlor. The area is based on the Chinatown section of downtown Philly. Um, this lot is across from my city fitness gym, which is currently available on my Patreon. So let's start in the subway area. Now this subway is similar to my previous subway on the um, gym lot. It is a little, you know, grungy, a little dirty. The main difference between this subway and my City Fitness Gym subway is that this one doesn't have an actual train that I built. I decided to not add the actual subway train in this build because um, I just wanted a different aesthetic. I wanted it to look like they're waiting on a train instead of getting on a train. But it is easy to add one if you need one. Over here, I placed the cardboard dancing mat for my sims to come and dance for tips. If you use Sacrificial's Road to Fame mod, um, it does include a street dancing skill. So I would suggest you download that as well. All right, let's head upstairs. Over here we have the dumpster and recycler from Eco Lifestyle. I like to keep them together because you need both of them in order to advance in the fabrication skill and I think the candle making skill. So I made sure to keep them both there. I did add a small bathroom down here for my homeless sim. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you check out my rags to riches storyline. Over here are some vending machines from Snowy Escape. Um, I used the parking meters from City Living to act as a transpass and token station. And I also added the Salvadoradian craft sales table for my homeless sims to make some money and sell things from. Let's head above ground. So for the street food, I added the Chinese food stall from City Living, um, just so they can have a quick meal after they get off the subway. Over here is a DIY garage mural from City Living. I like to place those throughout the city for them to, you know, spray paint and add cultural murals to the side of the buildings. This is the Rice to Meet You night market stall from the For Rent Pack. On this corner is another subway entrance. Now this is actually another wall mural from City Living. Your Sims can paint over or clean up. And then we're back at the front of the building. So there are three shops on this lot. Like I said, there's a hookah, karaoke lounge, a small local bar, and a tattoo shop. The actual lot type I set it to is a karaoke bar. So let's head to the karaoke bar first. So at the bottom, um, I did make it kind of the hookah bar section slash nightclub. I have hookah machines from City Living. I love the large windows because it gives you a really nice view of the city. I placed some colorful chairs lined up against the wall. There's a small dance floor and DJ booth. I prefer smaller buildings just so my lot can feel filled up with sims and it's not so much vacant space. So that's why most of these buildings are kind of small. It just makes your buildings feel more lively. Upstairs, we have a small seating area and a photo booth as well as some bathrooms.
So there are three private karaoke rooms. Each room has a drinking tray that you can serve alcoholic beverages on and some deco finger foods. If you want this drinking tray, you will need to download the functional drinks tray from Samic and Severinka. I made each karaoke room a different color scheme and it really is a vibe at night for your Sims, I'm telling you. So on karaoke lots, there's karaoke contests that you can enter at night and it just really feels realistic up here. So I hope you enjoy it. It's definitely the perfect location for a girl's night out. Next door is a small bar. I modeled this after a bar called 1518 Bar and Grill. I would have named it that, but I didn't have the number five. <laughs> it's basically a small sports bar. Um, there is some outdoor seating. I do bring my homeless sim here a lot to chat with the bartender and watch sports. But let's go inside and I'll show you some pictures of the actual bar that I modeled it after. The last shop is a small tattoo parlor. I wanted a location I can take my Sims to add a tattoo after they're created. So I figured this would be a perfect spot to place one. I figured you're out late with your friends in downtown Philly, drinking and singing karaoke and think, hey, let's get some tattoos. So this was the perfect spot for me to put it. For it to function, you will need Sepsid's functional tattoo chair. So make sure you download that. And that is it for this build. This was lot two of four in my Magnolia Promenade makeover. Be sure to check out my Patreon if you wanna download this lot. It will be available this Friday for early access and free to the public after three weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.